major update in a two year investigation on Olympus pools. It was greed. State and local investigators say that's what led to Olympus pools owner James Statton to steal from dozens of customers. You have a warrant for your arrest. There's multiple counts. We can go over those counts later. Uh, your attorney can get a copy of that warrant. But right now, it's just now the purpose you need to turn around. Just set your hands behind your back for me. We well, see him there in handcuffs as he turns himself into authorities in Pasco County yesterday. I team investigator Jackie Calloway first exposed trouble with the company in 2021. And tonight she shows us where the money reportedly went and what's next in the case. Mr. Statton, if you could approach the podium, please. Olympus Pools owner James Statton remains in the Pasco County Jail after a judge denied a motion to lower his $2.8 million bond. Your request is to a bond reduction. So the court is going to deny that request. His first appearance comes a day after Staten turned himself in. Got any medication on you prescribed or not prescribed? Did you want to get tell us about it? Nothing on your person? Nothing's on me. The former businessman is facing 34 counts of various fraud and theft charges. We were able to determine that Staten moved monies from his business accounts to his personal accounts to live a very lavish lifestyle. The FDLE and Attorney General Ashley Moody today outlined their criminal case pattern of spending approximately $50,000 to $70,000 a month. Instead of using the customer's money to provide the pool they had promised, he used it to live far beyond his means. Staten's accused of stealing $1.5 million from dozens of customers to finance high-end vacations, jewelry, and more than $50,000 on Super Bowl tickets. How does that make you feel? Well, obviously it makes me feel upset and angry. Mike Hankey is one of hundreds of Olympus customers left with an eyesore when the company shut its doors in 2021. How did Olympus Pools leave your pool? Basically three holes in the ground and a bunch of trash all over the place. The charges are based on 33 customers in Hillsborough County, many of whom were victimized twice after unpaid subcontractors filed liens against their homes. The perpetrator kept going after more and more money and digging more holes and leaving more sites abandoned and homes uh, destroyed. Is there any way that this case could help lead to restitution for more victims? Certainly we will seek to recover both fines and restitution through the criminal proceeding. What do you think the sentence should be? I personally think it should be 20 or plus. You do? I do. Next, James Statton's attorney, Rick Escobar, who believes his client is not guilty of anything more than making bad business decisions, says he's going to ask for a bond hearing to see if he can get his client's bond amount reduced. I'm my team investigator, Jackie Calloway, taking action for you.